after what has been an abysmal release for a trailer. That's right, the Snow White trailer has been completely abysmal. The lead actress, Rachel Zegler, has completely made it even worse by her comments on social media. Now, take a look. This is the trailer. It is getting ratioed to hell and back. Just 65,000 likes to 505,000 dislikes at this point. This trailer is one of the worst trailers that we've seen. Now, there are people out there sitting here saying, oh, it is one of the best, most watched trailers. As you see, 6.4 million views in four days. Oh my goodness, it's getting so many views. And this is just on the Walt Disney Studios site. But if you take a look over on Rachel Zegler's X, po or X account, I should say, she goes, I love you all so much. Thank you for the love and the 120 million views on our trailer. That's right. There's been 120 million views total across all all the things that they've posted the trailer on in just 24 hours. What a whirlwind. I'm in the thick of rehearsals for Romeo and Juliet, so I'm going to get out of here. Bye for now. Okay, so she is Romeo, or Juliet, I'm sorry. She's Juliet in Romeo and Juliet. I'm sure she probably, with her pronouns and stuff, she's part of the pronoun gang. But anyway, she's Juliet in Romeo and Juliet. But she says, bye for now. So you would think, okay, it's fine. Look, the trailer got 120 million views. She doesn't even acknowledge how ratioed it's getting. She says bye for now. And she should leave it at that. She should just leave and say bye for now. But she doesn't. She doesn't really say bye for now because she comes back and goes, and always remember, free Palestine. The problem is, her co-star in this film is Gal Gadot who is of Israeli descent. She is an Israeli actress. She fought for the Israeli army. She is somebody who is very passionate, passionate about her heritage of being Israeli. Why make this political now? Why is she so ignorant to what is going on in the world? You know, she's making this worse. She is just an idiot in this matter because if you sit here and take a look at what look you take a look at this 505 dislikes people don't like what she has said about men she doesn't they don't like what has happened with the whole dwarfs and the the seven dwarfs and making them cgi and not actually hiring dwarves they don't like the fact that she's trying to woman power this whole thing that's rachel zegler now she's going to put this political spin on it because, well, she has to sit here and say, free Palestine. Look, we all want the fighting to stop. There's no doubt about it. We all want the fighting to stop. But to sit there when your co-star, the co-star of this movie is Israeli, and you go and do that, you're asking for trouble. And regardless of what your feelings are, you don't go and do this. That is absolutely, absolutely absurd, ridiculous. And Disney needs to come at you and say, no, none of that crap. It's good of them for not allowing you to go to D23 after what you did at D23 last year and hurt the picture. They didn't let you go this year because of what you did last year. Imagine if you would have gone on the carpet at D23 this year and said, free Palestine. It would have been a complete disaster. Complete disaster. This is a disaster. This is a disaster. This is going to get out of hand, this movie. Because now, now you're going to have this political movement of people who are going to side with Rachel Zegler and saying, yes, free Palestine, while you're going to have people who side with Gal Gadot and the Israeli-backed ideas. You already have people who don't like Gal Gadot because of it, which is absurd. You're going to already have people who don't like Rachel Zegler because of what she was saying and now this. This movie is doomed. She made it worse. Disney is going to suffer from this, which Disney should suffer for a lot of other things, not just this, but they're going to suffer for this because she is an idiot.
She's just a complete idiot. She could have stopped with that first post. She said bye for now. Why didn't she just leave? She didn't. She didn't leave. She came back. And always remember, free Palestine. This is the problem with this younger generation right now. They don't think. They just go and they just say and they just say they just say. This is a problem. This is a huge problem. This is a very, very big problem for this movie, for her, for her co-star, for Disney. And honestly, she needs more than a slap on the wrist. Then there needs to be some very, 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 there needs to be some very big ramifications for this. But is Disney willing to do it? Do they have the balls to do it? That's the question. But what do you think? Do you think anything's going to happen to Rachel Zegler for this? Do you think there's going to be even a bigger divide with this Snow White movie? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit subscribe. Share this all around. Become a Slavs Geek Talk member. With all that said, I'll catch you all later.